Hi everyone, my name is Celia Souza. I'm from Port University in Portugal and I'm going to present our work on vortex nanodisks and also uh, magnetic nanowires from micromagnetic simulations to cancer cells internalizations for applications in magnetomechanical cell death. I will start with a brief motivation, then I will show you our main results in micro, micro, micromagnetic simulations. Then I will show you the fabrication route to obtain these uh, um, nanodots, their magnetic properties and uh, the biomedical applications. I will show you also uh, our recent results regarding the synthesis and characterization of high aspect ratio magnetic nanowires for biomedical applications. So, um, beyond the recent advantages in the conventional therapies of cancer, namely hormonal and targeted therapies, the recent advances in nanotechnology show it that several types of nanoparticles can be a good alternative for cancer treatment, since we can tune the size and the shape of the nanoparticles. The material and the surface functionalization, depending also can be also changed uh, depending on the specific type of cancer that we want to treat. In particular, nanowires and the nanodisks show it several advantages compared with the uh, spherical counterpart, namely regarding the increased turbulent flow, the increased contrast with the uh, uh, cells, the, incre the um, increased contact with the cells, as well as the reduction of organ accumulation depending on their uh, shape, size, and also the surface uh, uh, charge. So, recently, uh, magnetic nanodisks in a vortex state show uh, the ability to perform cancer cell destruction by a mechanical movement under low magnetic fields and low frequencies. Nanodisks obtained by lithography techniques uh, defined uh, uh, in a micro and uh, nano scale that poses a spin vortex grown state usually presents a high magnetic moment when compared with the superparamagnetic nanoparticles and also presents zero uh, uh, magnetization in remanence which reduces the long range magnetostatic forces that leads to the particle agglomeration which is one of the most disadvantaged of uh, uh, biomedical applications of these uh, nanoparticles. Also compared with magnetic fluidic uh, hyperthermia, vortex nanodisks um, can work at the low frequencies, low magnetic fields and low concentrations of particles. Ideally, only one disk per cell is enough to perform the cell death. Before the sample fabrication, we performed micromagnetic simulations to define the experimental conditions to obtain the nanodisks in a vortex state. MUMAX-3 was used to simulate iron nano, uh, uh, nanodisks with the 50 nanometers uh, of thickness, exactly with the shape and the dimensions of the experimental samples for both single uh, nanodisks and array of uh, uh, nanodisks. Using the simulations of nanodot arrays, we studied both the influence of interdot distance and several aspect ratios varying the values of diameter and the thickness of the iron layer in the nanodisk. The nucleation and the annihilation fields increases uh, when we increase the distance between uh, the, um, uh, the nanodots or the separation between the nanodots up to two times of the radio of the disk. A stabilization of the magnetic susceptibility value is also observed for the same value of inter, um, of inter dot uh, uh, distance. So, um, 
for an interdot distance higher than uh, two times the radius of the nano disk, no interactions between the nanostructures influences the sample behavior independently on the um, dot uh, size. The thickness and the diameter of the disk are key parameters to define the dimensions to achieve the vortex state. Thus, the vortex characteristic fields, annihilation and uh, um, uh, nucleation fields, um, are plotted with the respect to the aspect ratio of the nanodisks, the diameter divided by the thickness in both axis and i uh, direction. As the aspect ratio increases, a nonlinear decrease is observed in both nucleation and annihilation fields, in agreement with the already uh, reported uh, for vortex behavior. This behavior can be explained due to the competition between the demagnetization energy and the exchange energy. However, in the case of nucleation fields for low aspect ratios, lower than uh, uh, 7, in both directions they appear to not follow the same trend as the others. In, uh, this, may be, uh, uh, this is maybe associated to the lower limit of the behavior when the assumption of thin disks falls short and the remnant state trends uh, to the single domain. Taking into account the results obtained in the micromagnetic simulations, we prepared by interference laser lithography templates with around 500 nanometers in diameter. And as uh, mentioned uh, before, uh, the, uh, for both uh, directions, X, X and I uh, direction, we have a, a slight difference uh, diameter, as we, can see, uh, as we can see here, associated to the method used to prepare these uh, nanostructures. Then we grow a multi-layer film on the patterned substrate. First, we deposited a um, sacrifical layer of aluminum that, is, uh, that will be uh, um, then etched to release the discs in a solution. And then we grow gold iron, uh, gold um, uh, nano disks by uh, evaporation where the gold layers are protective layers and the 50 nanometer, uh, nanometers uh, thick uh, iron layer is the active uh, magnetic layer. Mox's Therese's loop measured in the prepared samples after the liftoff uh, process clear show the vortex state in uh, iron nanodisks with around uh, 500 nanometers in diameter and 50 nanometers thick. Zero remanence is observed and the annihilation and the nucleation fields were determined and are in uh, a good agreement uh, with the uh, magnetic simulations in the uh, X uh, direction. Finally, the nanodisks were removed from the substrate by an etching process of the aluminum layer and the nanodisks were uh, dispersed in a buffer solution and incubated with the human leukemia monocytes to evaluate the internalization of the nanodisks by the cells and their biocompatibility. So, as we can see here, we achieved a good viability with the less than 10% of cell death for uh, each concentration up to 120 nanodisks per cell. And we also achieve a particle uptake, as we can see here, with a saturation rich between 80 and 120 disks per cell. So we can conclude that our nanodisks are biocompatible and were also internalized by the cells. We also prepared 
iron, uh, uh, iron nanowires by using a template assisted method. First, we prepared anodic aluminum oxide templates by a two-step anodization process and then we filled the pores of the templates by an electrodeposition method. We use a codeposition method to deposit iron and copper layers. In this case, copper are uh, only a dead layer to increase the number of layers uh, uh, of iron and then increase the amount of, of uh, nanowires per sample. The electrodeposition behavior was monitored for uh, each layer of both uh, materials. And as we can see here in these scanning electron microscopy images, we are able to deposit um, iron copper multilayered uh, nanowires, and we are also able to change the length of the nanowires depending on the electrodeposition uh, time. So we performed the structural characterization of these uh, nanostructures and we obtained for the iron nanowires a BCC structure with a preferential direction along the 110 uh, direction. Regarding the magnetic behavior, we can see by, uh, uh, that by increasing the Cooper segment uh, thickness between the iron uh, uh, nanodisks, one involves from a samples with a marked easy axis, as we can see here, dominated by a shape and isotropy, to an almost isotropic behavior when we increase the separation between uh, the iron uh, layers. So, to evaluate the interaction between these nanowires, we also perform the fork uh, analysis, and as we can see here, for a lower separation uh, between the iron uh, nanodisks, we see a behavior that is dominated by the dipolar interactions between the iron uh, nanodisks and the, uh, the, the iron nanodisks have a behavior like a continuous nanowires without the copper layers. When we increase the copper layer, we see that the, uh, um, the, the individual behavior of these uh, uh, iron nanodisks. We also change it, we also tune it, uh, the thickness of the, um, uh, of the iron nanowires from 20 nanometers, like a disc, up to uh, 300 um, nanometers in length in, in the case where we have a high spaturation nanowires. And as we can see here, we, uh, we, we can go from a low aspect ratio um, behavior of, of the particles with an isotropic behavior up to uh, a behavior of a high aspect ratio nanowire dominated by the shape uh, anisotropy. To evaluate the, the, the possibility to use these uh, nanowires for uh, biomedical applications, we performed the dispersion of iron nanowires in a solution. First, we removed uh, the alumina uh, membrane, then we removed the, the copper layer uh, by selective etching and obtaining a suspension of iron uh, nanowires. Uh, these nanowires uh, show it to have a biocompatible uh, behavior with less than 15% of cell dead, and we are also able to uptake up to uh, 120 nanowires per cell. So now we are working uh, with a multifunctional nanostructure. So we are working, we, we put our magnetic nanostructures inside lipid uh, shells that also have a drug inside. So the white part is the lipid shell and the black part are our magnetic nanostructures for application in controlled drug delivery and magnetomechanical cell death. So, as a conclusion, uh, so we, uh, we performed a systematic study uh, of the magnetic properties of iron nanodisks uh, and uh, iron nanowires by using micromagnetic simulations. 
We also obtain thermally evaporated uh, gold iron gold nanodisks in a vortex state and also iron nanowires with a controllable length and interwire uh, distance were uh, synthesized and characterized. Both nanostructures, uh, nanodisks and nanowires, showed a biocompatible uh, behavior and also both structures were uh, successfully internalized in cancer cells that can be used for uh, future uh, magnetomechanical cell dead uh, assays. I have to acknowledge to a lot of people from different institutions in Porto University and uh, University of Basque Country and uh, thank you very much for uh, your attention and your time. Thank you very much.